Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. And this is the beginning of our Micrologics programming series. We wanted to start by giving you some tips to help you successful in your learning. First, you're not going to be able to absorb this by simply watching this video. You're going to need to have a PLC that you can practice with. Now, we'd love for it to be one of our trainers, obviously, but it doesn't have to be. All of our lessons are given free of charge whether you purchase our trainer or not. However, these lessons are supported by our Patreon subscribers. Our subscribers get lots of discounts, promotions, access to much rougher but more realistic videos about industrial applications, and once a month we get together with our top patrons on Google Hangouts where we talk about their applications and help them work through problems and just really have a good time. All of our lessons, including step-by-step -step instructions, are available at theautomationstore.com. We'll put a link to them in the description. Hey, when it comes to curriculum for learning PLCs, I break it into two categories. You have in-class and self-paced. In-class includes schools, uh, training you go to, and training that comes on site to you. The best advice I can give you is look at the reviews of these companies. There are some out there that are excellent. There's some out there that are okay. And there's a lot out there that'll leave you thinking that you cannot learn to program PLC. The other type of training which we're more into is the self-paced training. This is where you get your own hardware and some self-paced lessons. Again, we think these come in a variety of different qualities. We think our hardware setup is good because we can simulate a lot of industrial applications. In fact, uh, when we have to test something for a customer, we usually do just grab one of our trainers to simulate it. But honestly, a PLC and some jumper wires can be a good place for you to start. I do think it's important that you select a modern PLC that has free software. The main reason is uh, you can probably get somebody to give you, say, a PLC 5 or an old Slick 500, but one, they don't have the capabilities of the new PLCs, plus all of them require that you purchase software. And while you can buy a trainer and if you decide that it's not a good fit for you, you can probably sell it to someone else, it's a lot tougher to recoup your cost of a software purchase. Now a little bit about paying for lessons. I'm not giving this warning because our lessons are free. I'm really trying to keep you from making some of the mistakes that a lot of the people that we talk to have fallen into. There's a large abundance of free lessons online. If you don't like our lessons, then chances are you can find someone else's lessons online that are a good fit for you. I've paid for some lessons just to check them out, and I can say that I've never bought one that was worth the money. In fact, typically they are much worse than what you can find for free online. I think one of the big reasons for this is they're kind of closed off to the rest of the world with their lessons, so they don't get the feedback that we get that helps us improve ours. We get lots and lots of feedback. Some good. Yeah, mostly good. Some some bad. We, we let Amber loose on them when it's bad. <laughs> so as you go through these lessons, feel free to give us your feedback and ask questions that come up. We do give top priority to questions that come in over our Patreon page since they make these lessons possible. But we regularly answer questions that you post in the comments of our videos also. Till next time. See ya. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.